M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. This is the UV K6, but it's been modified to receive the HF bands under 15 megahertz with an amplifier. Also, this one can hold 1000 channels because it has a two megabyte memory chip. So we're just out here and we've just put on my, basically my CB antenna. So it's the wrong antenna for 40 meters. But, and, and it's obviously a bit of a compromise because it's a short antenna. But let's have a quick tune and then I'll just show you, I went for the yellow model and it actually has an extra antenna on it as well. Let's see if we can receive anything. Of course, you need a long wire, really. So let's just tune. It does tune quite fast. <laughs> Mazzy's here. Let's tune down. I, I, everyone's going to say get a better antenna. I know that, but... I thought it'd be interesting to see it. Just on the um, CB antenna, CB 10 meter. And I'm just out here in the garden. Got a few stations there. Now the other thing about this is that if you hold down the number one, look at all these different bands that you can listen to. 20 meters, 10 meter, military, CB, going up now. Let's try the CB, why not? Okay, it is a CB antenna. Now, I've, I, this is the first time I've even tried to do this, so I'm not really sure how it goes through the channels. But we'll just select through. We probably need to lower the squelch. But you can see all the channels are there. And if we hold down again, band, we can go up to, let's go to 20 meter band. It does, there's a crossover. And we're still able to receive VHF, UHF. You can see SSB there. There was someone there. You can change band just with the zip, sorry, not band, mode just by holding down the zero. AM. And then you, there's, a, there's, you know, there's a delay as it changes over, but we just want USB. LSB there, back to USB. It tunes fast, doesn't it? Ah. I need to fine tune. It sounds to me that sounds like a Russian station. I'm Southwest UK, yeah. Look, on a rubber duck. It's brilliant. I'll leave it there and I'll, I will fit my external antenna, but for now we're going to go to the B band. Like so, and then we'll put in my node. Four, three, four. You hit the scan for the dot. Five, five, zero, zero. So that's my local node. Ah, oh, not active at the moment, but you can still receive VHF, UHF broadcast radio you still got USB-C charging still works in exactly the same way it would normally work but you have it's so f fun having two antennas and I've got this one pre-modified because I didn't want to I have soldered one myself or there was my node there actually I have soldered one myself but you know I, I wasn't too happy with it at all really this has been done and uh, by someone who's making these on eBay and selling them and it's I, I feel like it's working great 
and I've got it with the um, Fadgy Reborn software. But uh, I think that I'll be going um, getting another blue one with the CEC KD8 CEC software. So thanks for watching. Let's quickly put on my external antenna just to see how strong those stations come in with a proper antenna. And that's your original SMA that's been fitted. Of course, the link will be in the description. Going to do some drone flying soon, but anyway. Uh, so let's get our adapter on there. BNC. Long line. It's just a long wire, 49 to 1 ballon that you can buy anywhere. And a long wire. Let's have a listen. Come on. How good is that? How good is that? Come on, you've got a little bowfung. You can listen to HF, VHF, UHF, PMR, Airband. It's a nice looking set. Okay, you pay about, about 85 to get it all modified and for the radio with the charger and the charging base. That's 20 meters. Obviously, it shows you that you need, you know, you need a nice long wire. That's, you know, everyone says, what antenna should I use? Get a blooming long wire. The longer, the better. And you will receive plenty. It scans fast, doesn't it? And the fact that you can still hear. And look at this. Should do it. Oh, it's not letting me turn on the spectrum. It's just going to... Something's changing. Yeah, that's a shame. I had the spectrum earlier. But the whole screen turned into a spectrum. And maybe... Oh, I'll have to learn how to do it. So... Try now. No. Let's go menu. Try that. Well, yeah, something. Like it's, it's, it's a learning curve to everything. Menu. Analyzer. Okay. Not used that before either. Let's do 40 meters. The menu. Let's go back to VFO. And you have VFO professional mode. Or menu, single VFO. Hold down band. Yeah, 40 not as good, that's unusual. It's there, but it's not good, is it? Normally I get really good. Let's turn it off, then on, and then we'll end the video. Thanks for watching so far. Please hit the like, subscribe, and join the channel, the YouTube channel. And if you fancy it, buy me a coffee for making uh, these videos, which I love making anyway. <laughs> now that sounds a bit better. Normally about 60, we get someone. There you go. I mean, I will say that, you know, in, in this chat, there's a lot of LED lights with my computer. There's a lot of interference but out and about. You know, I, I think with an extended rubber, um, remember I had the CB antenna, but with an extended one, I think it would do a lot better. Bye for now. 7-3.